not everyone is aware that Microsoft Office is available for free for students and educators. To check your eligibility, you need to type keywords in Google, free office for students. And the first link that shows up from Microsoft is the right link to access. You check your eligibility by typing your student.edu email right in this box and following the process. The coolest thing is that most students and educators are eligible for a free copy of Microsoft Office. Let me tell you a little bit about myself. My name is Vadim Michalenka and I have MBA and master's degree in computer science. Most of my career I worked as a consultant helping companies implement solutions. I learned a lot of technologies throughout my career, but more importantly, I developed a methodology how to learn new skills, which I would like to share with you as part of my videos. I also work as an educator in the community college, helping people to learn technology and find jobs. I started online training for everyone to share the knowledge and help people to reach their goals faster. Please consider subscribing to this channel. Skills that you learn here will be helpful for you now and also in the future. If your educational institution is eligible, which most of them are, you will get access to Office 365 interface like this, and you will be able to create new Microsoft Office documents. For example, if you choose to create Word document, you can create Word documents using web-based interface, and you have access to traditional features of Microsoft Word right inside your browser. Ultimately, you are getting multiple things as part of this promotion from Microsoft. You get access to Office for the web, and you also get up to five licenses of Office 365. Office 365 option is available in Install Office in the upper right corner of the home page. When you click on Install Office, you can either directly install Office 365 apps or choose other options if you're trying to get version of Microsoft Office in a different language. If you choose to install Office 365, the browser will download Office Installer. It will kick off the installation of the latest version of Microsoft Office. As part of this promotion, you can get desktop applications for Windows or Mac OS X. Web-based Office applications allow you to access to about 80% of the functionality of traditional desktop-based applications. In addition to being able to create new Office documents, by either selecting the plus sign, which indicates creation of the new document, or choosing one of the existing available applications. You can also upload and edit existing documents by clicking on Upload and Open feature in the upper right corner. For example, if you upload an existing version of Microsoft Word document, as I did, and in my case, this is an essay that my son wrote by interviewing me, and once you upload the file, you can edit the existing document by using the built-in features. You have access to familiar right mouse click interface with all the editing features, as well as functionality in the ribbon tab in the web-based user interface. One of the coolest features available in the web-based version, which is not available in the Office desktop, is co-authoring of the documents. For example, you can share the link to the file by using the share functionality in the upper right corner and send the link directly to the email of another person. Two people can edit the same document at the same time, and you will see changes made by one person in the window on the right side, immediately after changes have been made. You can also see who actually made the changes if more than two people edit the document. This might be a very useful feature if you are in a call with a lot of people and all of them are trying to make changes to the document. In the web-based application, in addition to being able to download final .docx Word file, you can also save the final file as PDF. You can access this functionality in the File tab in the ribbon. And if you click Save As, you have different options of how you can download and save the document. Let me give you a couple reasons why you might consider subscribing to online training for everyone. State-of-the-art skills, tips, Tricks and techniques we share with you here on online training for everyone will help you today and in the future. We use scientifically proven methodology to create videos that will help you learn faster and retain more materials. When you click the subscribe button now, you will become connected and will be the first one to receive automatic notifications when new video is released. To better understand why free version of Microsoft Office is better for some scenarios, 
let's understand the typical document creation and editing workflow. Typically, there is a very important co-authoring document steps in document workflow. You might start by creating a new document or editing an existing document. But a lot of times, you might be required to co-author a document with other people. Co-authoring means that you might send a link to other people and ask them to edit your document. You typically do it by using the shared feature in Office documents or copying the link and sending it directly via email. Co-authoring of the document is much more effective when you have one shared copy of the document and multiple people have access to this shared copy and can make edits. Having a single copy of the document in the cloud makes the step of co-authoring documents much more effective using the free version of Microsoft Office. In the past, typical setup of Microsoft Office was on the desktop. User can access desktop-based applications that were locally installed. Users would save the document into the local storage. And in some cases, the network server might have been created, which could be used to store backup copies of the document. Over time, people realized that in order to create high-quality document, you need to get feedback from other people. Concept of co-authoring was introduced, and software vendors, including Microsoft, started adding features to make co-authoring much easier. An example of co-authoring might be editing revisions of the document, having multiple people work on a student project, or work on a high-quality creative work. The entire review tab was introduced in Microsoft Office documents, which allowed you to track changes, accept or reject changes from other people, and compare multiple documents. But in the old model, you still required to share the document with other user, them making the changes, and then you going through the process of accepting and rejecting the changes. When Microsoft introduced storing documents on SharePoint as a central platform, it was a great idea, but SharePoint, unfortunately, never took off. And this technology was only accepted by the businesses. For a very long time, the only version of co-authoring for multiple people to edit the document was sharing the copy of the document on the local network. In this model, one user can create or edit documents, put them onto the shared local drive, notify another user, and then another user using similar desktop-based configuration would go ahead and edit, would review the changes, and provide suggestions for the documents that they were co-authoring. This was a great innovation back then, but the configuration required Office to be installed on user's device, device to be connected to the local network, and files shared over the network, either wired or wireless local network. Over the years, the dominant position that Microsoft Office established in document editing was challenged by free cloud-based platforms. Google created a free version of Office in the cloud, which allowed user to create an equivalent of any type of the Office file. At no cost, you can create a document in Google Docs, and suddenly users have access to free sophisticated editing capabilities. Please make sure to check out available downloads in the description section of this video. In addition to cloud-based challenge, over the years people started using mobile devices more and more and started demanding features of Microsoft Office right on the mobile smartphones or tablets. Over the years, this challenged the dominant position of Microsoft Office in document editing, and the product started slowly losing market share. The new reality was the huge popularity of mobile devices, variety of different platforms on the desktop and mobile, as well as the competition from Google and Apple, forced Microsoft to rethink their cloud strategy. One of their biggest challenges was the question, how can you support the sophisticated and rich desktop-based environment, provide access and allow users to create and edit Microsoft Office documents on smartphones and tablets, as well as respond to challengers that only require the browser for Office document editing. This is how Office.com platform was created. This platform has Office applications for the browsers installed right in the cloud which allows browser-based access to office.com. You can use any modern browser like Chrome, Edge, which is Chromium-based, Safari, Firefox, or others to access and edit Microsoft Office documents. Documents could be stored in the cloud on the OneDrive storage, as well as locally on the desktop in the file system for your laptop or desktop, as well as locally on the mobile devices. Desktop users, mobile users, or browser users can co-author documents at the same time. 
And the coolest feature above all is that office.com browser-based platform is free. And the only thing you need to start taking advantage of this platform is your browser. Please consider subscribing to this channel. Skills that you learn here will be helpful for you now and also in the future. You also get opportunity to help other people by answering their questions and helping them solve their challenges. If you like the content, please give this video a big thumbs up. This tells us that you need more content like this. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next video.